Hey guys, Moldan here and I know that a lot of you like to play video games so I decided to make a video about all the video games that I've played in the past. And because this is a pretty long list I decided to make three parts. The first one of today is going to deal with my early years about which console games I was playing. Um, this another video is going to deal about the first PC games that I was playing and the third video is going to deal with the recent PC games I'm playing and how I became popular in them. So my gaming career started at the age of four. Um, I didn't have a console myself at that point. So, but my cousin did, who was one year younger than me even, and he had a Nintendo. So, the first games that I played were Nintendo, the super old one, the very first Nintendo console. And we played stuff like uh, Super Mario Brothers and also um, Double Dragon, which was a fighting game. Really fun in multiplayer. I think it was Double Dragon 3, but I didn't play that much back then. Then when I turned, I think, five years, my father gave me a Game Boy as a present. This was the very first Game Boy that actually came out that time and it came with Tetris. So Tetris was the first game I played for a longer period of time. It was pretty fun. Um, also always to progress, to beat your previous records and stuff. Um, but it wasn't until uh, I got a Super Nintendo where I really started to love playing games. Now, Super Nintendo, of course, comes with the normal games like Super Mario World, Street Fighter, Donkey Kong, those are famous. But what I really loved in the Super Nintendo were RPGs. I loved to play Secret of Mana together with my friends. We would meet every day. We would meet every day. I would play the boy, another friend would play the girl, and another friend would play the small little kobold. And it, the game was really a lot of fun. It was an RPG. You would level your weapons, become more and more powerful, until at the end you beat the white mana drake. But other RPGs I played were Lufia. Lufia was fucking insane. It had a very good um, round-based battle system, kind of like Final Fantasy VI, which was another game that I played. But in my opinion, Lufia was even better than Final Fantasy. I really loved those games. I also played Terranigma, Chrono Trigger, Secret of Evermore, and a few other games that I can't really mention now because the list would be too long. But above all, like those games were actually so good that when I was older, when I was like 12, 13, 14 years, I actually went back and used an emulator to play those games again on the PC and experience them again and maybe play them on a higher level than a bit back then when I was 6 to 7 years old. So that was the story about that. Um, then when I was 6 or 7 years old, I got a Sega Mega Drive and I only got this for three games and they're all called the same. Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. The Sonic games were so good that I purchased a Sega Mega Drive just for that. I wanted to play them all and it was just fun to play. Um, kill Dr. Robotnik every time and yeah, just play the game. Um, Sonic games were very good. Um, then after that, I think the Nintendo 64 came out. Nintendo 64 was another big step in my gaming career. Um, first games that we purchased were a wrestling game. And of course it comes with Super Mario 64. It actually took me like... A long time to beat that to get all the 120 stars. I even needed the help from my friend for a few of those stars. So I think it took me several weeks to get all of them. I'm not like crazy like Sigilmik who gets 120 stars in two hours. No, I actually played this game for uh, a long time. Um, but there were also even better games on the Nintendo 64, of course. Notably, for example, Ocarina of Time. I absolutely loved that game. The only downside was it was only single player, but the game was so good that I would play it several times just to beat it again. And it also had a decent difficulty, so it wasn't too easy. You were able to die if you fuck up. And yeah, um, other game that I loved to play in multiplayer was GoldenEye 007. That game was just insane. It was the best multiplayer game I've ever played on the console, I think. Um, you know, we played it with four people, we played it with two people. No matter what you do, it would always be fun. Whether you get a golden gun and one-shot everything, or the machine gun, which was my favorite back then. Um, it was just a lot of fun. Now, other games that I played, um, let me just read here quickly. Um, yeah, Donkey Kong, Mario Party, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers was also a sick game. Smash Brothers, we would even play in school. We would even play in high school. We would still play Smash Brothers um, on a beamer projector. Uh, during class breaks and it was a lot of fun to play that same with Mario Party the same I remember this like smashing of the controller like the worst thing was where you had to turn this um, s stick in the middle uh, on your controller I think I killed two or three of them just by playing Mario Party it was a crazy game but it was fun you know um, also played some other less known games like Olympic Games Nagano or F-Zero-X or Cruising World was it? those were like Cruising World and F-Zero-X were racing games, they were pretty fun, um, but yeah, that's about the Nintendo 64, and what I did in the 
latest years when I was around 10 years, 11, 12, I started to get Pokemon. I got the Pokemon Red and I got a Pokemon Advanced. And my sister got, oh actually no, I got Pokemon Blue. And my sister still had the original Game Boy that I used to own before and she got Red. And so we were both playing Pokemon all day, every day. And I turned out to really like that game. Pokemon was pretty complex back then and it had certain things that you could do to make your Pokemon stronger even if they are max level. So even if a Pokemon would be level 100, you could still beat the top 4 all, every time, every time and every time and still get stronger on your Mewtwo or whatever Pokemon you have. And I assembled a pretty strong team and it's cool we would always, um, if we have like an hour off or two hours between classes, we would meet in the um, room where it was a special designated area where students could meet and we were playing Pokemon against each other with this link cable and turned out that I won most of the games and I finally found then after winning or steamrolling everyone else in my school I finally found a real rival and yeah we had some really really fun games and usually I think I won the majority I was always going back and forth it was good that I found the challenger uh, what I also did back then is like my early birthday parties we were like a group of gaming friends and my birthday parties I always organized a Pokemon tournament myself and yeah that's what we did like birthday party you know you party some stuff we even went to McDonald's a few times like McDonald's birthday parties but we also had those Pokemon tournaments where we would play like say eight people and then play those games pretty fun um, and the last game that I played on console I think was or it has to be Lufia The Legend Returns, which was another Lufia game. Probably none of you guys played it, um, but it was a lot of fun. I especially like the combat system. And yeah, then I also started to play PC games. And I think after 10 or 11 or 12 years, I fully switched to PC games. I started to play PC games earlier, which I'm going to explain in my next video about this. Um, but yeah, that was my console time. I uh, played a lot of good games. Um, let me just check if I forgot anything. I also played Majora's Mask, but it was not as good as Ocarina of Time, let's be honest here. Mario Kart, I think I already mentioned, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, on Game Boy also you had this Kirby's Island, pretty good game. Um, you know, the Kirby, the pink guy with the bubble, was pretty fun to play. But yeah, that was my gaming history in terms of console games. Um, if you played any of those games, let me know, maybe we share some. I don't know how young or old my viewer base is, maybe there are some who are the same age as me, played the same games but maybe there are some people who are let's say younger and haven't even heard about those games but I really like to play those games and yeah it made me the gamer that I'm now it is so thanks for watching this game our video and yeah I'll see you guys I'll be back